All right, David, welcome to the 2021 retrospective. Thanks for joining us in front of the camera. Again. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. I you, forgot. You've to, been in front yeah, of the no camera. no crazy yeah. entrance this time. Hey, but. well, I could have edited it in, but now that you said it, I guess I can't. So it's my fault. I apologize Definitely. to all the viewers. 100% your fault. Yeah. So we. So I want. Right. I'm starting off with like sort of introducing everybody just so we all have the face to the name on the podcast. We have a studio channel. You joined the team this year, mm -hmm. and as the position I would describe as sort of a writer, researcher, script supervisor, idea generator, creator, create, creative brain helper. I don't know. I'm, there's a lot of <laughs> words in my head to describe it. How would you describe it, and how has your 2021 been? I'm a content farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I do. I pump out content. That sounds so sinister. Um, yeah. Actually, a lot of people have uh, have asked me, like, what exactly do you do there? Because mm -hmm. I think for like Adam, for example, his job is very obvious, right? Like he produces and edits the video podcast. Hayato produces and edits the studio channel videos. And that's something I've thought about a lot. Like, how do I like measure my success at this job? Yeah. <laughs> it's very difficult. Yeah. Um, what I tend to tell people is like, well, I have a lot of conversations <laughs> mm -hmm. and I try to like make ideas more interesting than they seem on the surface yeah um it's hard i i mean like i've been here for a bit too and i've it's been hard to have like one kind of position and like mm -hmm. a lot of it is helping facilitate more conversation and more ideas and while that sounds like when you just say it out loud not that crazy but like it, it is vastly yeah. important to not a traditional <laughs> no. name of a position i guess no. you would say no yeah. i thought about that myself like how do i measure my like importance or success at this position. But the thing know? also is, is while you're adding all of that, this whole team is wildly talented in so many different positions where when one member is out, another member can step in. Mm -hmm. And like we have had, almost everyone in here has probably done every job That's at true. some point. Yeah. And that is so, so important. And so the reason why this team can churn out content yeah. like we can in such a small team. No, I think what yeah. you hired me for is definitely the the thing that I love doing the most, which mm -hmm. is just like having like just really like nailing down into an idea further and further until you find the golden nugget in the haystack. That's yeah. the wrong terminology. The but needle I like it. in the well, chocolate printed. factory. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Like. For example, I don't even know if this is a future question you were going to bring up, but like, for example, like that the AirTags video we did, the like Apple wins even when they lose. Yeah. That was like one of my favorite. I remember we had like a four hour conversation in the studio about that and it wasn't forced. It was just all like, mm -hmm. wait, but if they do this and it's just like it just extrapolated itself. Yeah. Um. And so, yeah, those are my favorite type of conversations to have in general. And so when we can have them like together in a studio setting. Yeah, Very cool. that kind of was one of my questions. I mean, I feel like the the many minds is greater than one. Many arms make light work, something, something, something. <laughs> like, I think the fact is, if I were to just keep making videos about my own thoughts, I would, I would run out much faster. Mm -hmm. And I think when we get different perspectives and different thoughts and different experiences all into one, it makes for much more interesting, dynamic, different looks at things. And that also was one of my favorite videos. I, I don't know why I like animal references so much, <laughs> yeah, but like it helps that. me so much to think <laughs> yeah. about like the way sharks and their little menorah fish yeah, are like yeah, attached yeah. Remora, to them. Remora, 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 Remora fish. Yeah, yeah. Th that that was uh, Menorah, Happy Hanukkah, everyone. I like <laughs> that. That's <laughs> what I said. Yeah. Jeez. I like that yeah. we got to do like uh, sea research for that video too. <laughs> A lot. I, I did, also did. Uh, what was the other animal one? planet? There's octopi in another one. There's another random. Yeah. The, fish. Well, you had the the multiple arms. Oh no, you had the um the general the cicada wing cicadas. Yes. For a folding. Phone. That I was forget a good one. If, that was a flex by two, so yep. that might have been right before you guys started. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, uh, kind of going off that, mm. you're doing a lot of research here. Uh, not all of it is on like specific things you normally mm. would research because you used to do your own videos and reviews yeah. and everything like that. Is there anything you've like become seriously interested in after you did research for a video and like just kind of were like, oh, this is crazy interesting and went almost deeper than what you needed to for the video? Um. I don't know if any particular thing, but it is like even just doing basic research, like when we did the like reviewing every iPhone video and just going on the Wikipedia page of that particular model and reading everything about it and then like interlinking to different things and being like, oh, 
this costs like the equivalent of a thousand dollars when it came out and then next year it was 300 like that's insane and just like sort of seeing like the trends of things moving mm-hmm. i will say when we do the long form podcast episodes which um those yeah. have been amazing and i think the boosted board episode even though it was the first one was the most freaking wild insane story that i never ever anticipated was going to be that crazy mm-hmm. and then it just ended up being like what yeah oh, previously mentioned with yeah. adam but we were like oh. yeah how do we do more of these because yeah. obviously we're video now so we've done we we crafted this whole thing around audio yeah. and we had the voices and the interviews popping in how do we as a as a video podcast sort of deliver that experience but also in a visual way too mm-hmm. so that's a new challenge i think we we can take on in 2022 i think it'll be really interesting especially because yeah. there are so many of those stories out there yeah um but yeah i think that that is also it's, it's consistently one of our favorite things to talk about from yeah. this last year it's oh, yeah, definitely something you want to explore because like it, it's really interesting you can you have so much flexibility when you only use audio mm-hmm because you can so, just control the environment so easily. But and then cutting. And cutting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, like when we had like all the people being like, Casey, 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 Casey. Hey, I'm Casey Neistat, and I guess I'm hey, a YouTuber. Casey Neistat, and I'm um, a, I guess I'm a YouTuber. You it's harder to do that with video. You can, yeah. but it's it's different. Yeah, um, we'll figure it out. We have Michael. Yeah. He does wonderful things. Yeah. He can, I'm sure he can whip some stuff up with that. Wizardry. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm, re- I'm really excited to like dive deeper into some of those ideas um, in the coming year for sure. We did like two or three of them, maybe four, but I would like yeah, to- Yeah, we did a couple. We'll I would do like more to do for sure. It was the first more, year more. and we're yeah. getting into the flow of things yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have something, so you cover a lot of things mm-hmm. and like we're obviously restrained to restrained to covering so many things. Was there anything in 2021 you're sad we didn't get a chance to cover? Oh, sad. Sad. You, you had to have cried. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting for me because moving from a um, only- Android phone, mm-hmm. like YouTube channel slash website for almost five years I worked there. And it was just like phone, 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 phone. And I never really got to cover anything different. Okay. When I first started covering tech at a publication, I was doing only VR. And then I did only electric skateboards for a while. Hmm. So it was like that. But then switching to Android, it was like just Android for like four years. So even <laughs> I tell people this, like I could not have given a less of a crap about cars until I started working here. And then I'm really interested in EV tech. You own a Model 3 now. and Yeah. 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 Like, I, I just, like, I, it's cool, like, being able to cover a lot more stuff and having your horizons expanded. Okay. Um, as far as, like, what I wish we covered more of, uh, I don't know. I like that answer. I mean, it makes us feel good that <laughs> yeah, we've gotten like to help broaden it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I think I think mo- a lot of people don't realize how many EVs we get to experience. And yeah. I think this is also true about me. Maybe four or five years ago, I didn't really have much of a a foot in the car industry at all. I didn't mm-hmm. I didn't have that much car testing experience. I'd re- I think I went to CES and I was at the BMW like area outside mm-hmm. and I got to sit in an i3. And they were like, all right, this is the i3 demo. We can like drive around this parking lot a little bit. And then to test the uh, object detection, they were like, here, point it at this barrier, floor it. I was like, really? And they were like, yeah, oh, floor gosh. it. And I floor it and it automatically stopped before oh. getting to this very obvious barrier. And yeah. my mind was blown. I was like, yeah. car tech is the future. That's what I think. Amazing. That's the reason I think I like EVs is because they're actually just computers. Yeah. There's a lot <laughs> on of tech wheels. In them. Exactly. So it's like, there's so much more to cover because, in, I mean, I'm not a regular car guy, and the regular car people will probably be really angry at me yeah, if chill, they hear me say chill this. Everyone. I just feel like regular cars are like you can measure things in terms of horsepower and whatever, but there's just so much more in EVs. This is my this is my don't um, tag me on with that statement. <laughs> hate comments. No, no, no. There's I, a lot in both of them. You're all no, cool. I know there is, but like <laughs> I my least favorite thing is the uh, the car media traditionalist. Where they're like, well, you don't know anything about cars, so why are you making yeah. car videos? When it's like, well, you, you know those people had to start somewhere too, right? right. It's not like you're born as the top tier host. So, yeah, you kind of have to work your way into it. And I was just saying, like, now we've had at least a new car every month here just to, yeah. to try it and to mm-hmm. have it for a couple of days and to live with it and to learn about it. And whether it turns into a piece, a video, a studio channel thing, a short, a top gear article, like whatever it is. Uh, all those experiences add up to the context we're able to give. So I agree. Yeah. Like their computers basically on wheels yeah. now, and that's a whole new thing we're getting into. So yeah. big fan of that. Yeah. Uh, do you have a favorite piece of tech that came out during this calendar year? Yes. Yeah, so 
Okay, I had to answer this question for um, a friend of mine the other day, and it was very hard to answer. Okay. And I would say, um, if I if I gave like a, I'll give a physical piece of tech, and then more of like an idea piece of tech. Interesting. Okay, I the, like that. The physical one is probably Air Tags, um, and I only realized that this morning. But I have like. What did you lose? Yeah, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I lose everything. I have I have an AirTag on everything right now, even though my like the iPhone I have is not my like main device. I use it sort of as like a remote control. It's an AirTag <laughs> hub. It's like your metal detector. It's an AirTag and life. Apple Watch yeah. hub. It's wow. just like yeah, yeah. It's like a metal detector. Yeah. Right? Um, but I lose so many things, and AirTags to me, like I I've I was a tile user since like 2010. Mm-hmm. But and I, and I lived in San Francisco, which is probably the most saturated tile city there is. And even then, it sucked. And so the idea behind air tags to me is really cool just because the network is automatically there and it just wor- mm-hmm. it always works. And like that is really cool. Yeah. Um, so that's as a physical product. I think thirty dollars for peace of mind on anything expensive that you own is really nice. Now, actual tech that came out this year that I'm like, well, not physical tech. Um, two things. Tensor, because I'd been waiting for this for so freaking long, since like 2016 when the Pixel first came out, I was like, this isn't really a Google phone, it's just a rebranded Nexus that Google has more say in the design of. Mm-hmm. So like having vertical integration in a in a Google phone is a big deal. Yeah. Even though the natural language processing on uh the Pixel on like Tensor is like the most obvious and really only major thing that people are actually seeing on tensor like the natural language processing is so fast that it's keeping me on the pixel even though my pixel is pretty buggy it's so fast that i i voice type when i'm at home like yeah 90 of the time i said this in the review but i think i sort of understated it like i use voice way more on the pixel than i do on other phones it's Mm -hmm. like it's dramatically better yeah so yeah i'm fully with you on that yeah also at the risk of turning this into a whole other podcast (laughs) um yeah, I feel like we're about to see a little bit of a wave of custom silicon everywhere. Yeah, like we have the off the shelf like Snapdragon chip, and they're obviously trying to make improvements in these sort of natural language processing and computational photography stuff like that. But like Apple's showing what you can do when you have a lot more control over your silicon yeah. design, and then we start seeing like okay, now Tensor's doing it, and obviously the iPhones had it for a while, and we're gonna start seeing more of that. I think that's gonna be something to keep our eye on for twenty twenty two. Um, but what, I, you're going to say one yeah, more Yeah, I just think it's amazing that you can tailor... Well, I, right, I was going to get to the other Yeah. One. <laughs> I just think it's amazing that you can tailor your own, like, SOC hardware to what you want to do on your device. And I think that's going to add differentiation in Android phones over the next few years because, like, Oppo Group is supposedly making their own chip and Xiaomi is supposedly making their own chip. Anyway, that's done. Yep. So, other thing, um, Material U, I think, is, like, huh. really cool. It's not tech, but it's it's, like... Tech design. I think, I, I think it's cool. I think I, it's a good design direction yeah. for Google. Do you change your wallpaper on your phone just to see what material you will do? <clears throat> Occasionally. Yeah. I did that a couple. I actually just changed the crop of one of my wallpapers yeah. and my accent colors changed and I yeah. thought that was interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. It's like the sample area you found changes. The, yeah. like pixel by pixel. Yeah. Like, area <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. yeah. So that was fun. Um, yeah. yeah. No, super into that. I think yeah. we'll, we'll look forward to a lot of this. Keep an eye on 2022, and that's, of course, what we're talking about in the next episode. But, yeah, mm. thanks for thanks for joining us in the retrospective, David. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I'll be back with a vengeance soon. For sure. Next week. Next week. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this Waveform clip. I just want to say happy holidays. Thanks for sticking with us and listening and, and hanging out with us for 2021. I think we're going to have an even better time in 2022. Until then, stay safe out there. I didn't say anything. Good job, Marquez. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.